Hello everyone. Good evening. Happy Sunday. I am running a little bit late on this evening's meditation because I was in the middle of watching a Lethal Weapon 3 today. We had a little bit of a Lethal Weapon marathon. So um, yeah, and then all of a sudden I looked at the time and was like, oh shoot. So here we are uh, for day 22 of our 30-day meditation challenge. So thank you for hanging in there with me, you with me, and I hope that those of you who've been hanging in the whole time, um, that maybe you're noticing some differences in the quality of your meditation. And if you're just joining in, you can always catch up and watch the previous ones that are also loaded up on our Insights Counseling Center YouTube channel. So I uh, started again this 30-day challenge because of you know all the things that are going on right now with regards to the virus and a lot of uncertainty and fear and whatnot going on. And therefore, I there is one thing that I do know is that we can't control what's going on in the world, but we can control how we decide to respond to it. And I also know for a fact that when we shift out of fear mode and then shift into getting more peaceful and grounded, that we are actually helping to boost our immune system. We always want our immune system to be really good, but certainly when there is, you know, a virus going on and anything that's contagious out there, we definitely seriously want to go ahead and make sure that our immune system is the possible best that it could possibly be. And by uh, getting into uh, grounded uh, meditation mode, it helps our brain actually shift into another level of brainwave. And um, those brainwaves are a place where we can be more calm and in that space, our immune system actually has an opportunity to do the work it's supposed to do, rather than when we are in fear and worry mode, yeah, it shuts down. It doesn't totally shut down, but it's not as effective because the, our body uh, shifts focus from taking care of the internal growth and, and doing the job that it's supposed to do to shutting down so that all the you know, core Parts so that it can focus on survival mode, fight or flight or freeze. So that again is why I decided to go ahead and do these this 30 day meditation challenge to really help people get into that space with everything. We can't just do it once or sit for two minutes, five minutes and say, oh, that, that didn't work. No, we have to do it over and over and over again. This is something that is an exercise and just it's like a muscle, you know, in order to grow a muscle and get strong and fit, you can't just go to the gym one time and say, yeah, uh, yeah I didn't get fit because I went to the gym once. It doesn't work that way. We all knew that. And I do have people who try to tell me that I don't like this meditation thing and all that. However, I think one of the things that that I think is one of the takeaways from this social distancing um, practice that we've been uh, under is an opportunity to take some time to sit and be quiet and go within because we tend to in this world to be so distracted, so busy with go, 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 always busy distracted with the outside world and when we do that we um, lose touch with ourselves we get so caught up in what everybody else is saying and doing and what's the news saying and what, what's this person saying and we don't really get to check in with ourselves and just check and see well does this make sense um, because I think many times that, you know, we have to discern what is the truth. For example, I, um, 
have worked with somebody who um, was in a very long-term relationship and was told by, you know, is this, this is not one person, many people that I have worked with who were in a relationship with somebody and there were some issues in the relationship that were kind of abusive. There was some not good behavior going on, but everybody else only saw what that person was showing to them, which went out and about, they were showing their best side. They didn't get to see the side that the person who was at home got to see. So they, all the other people on the outside, they were uh, telling them that, oh, you know, you're so lucky to have this person. And therefore this person, you know, decided to ignore what they were feeling themselves. And this is something that happens very often in abusive relationships. So when we tune in more so to what the outside world is saying and ignore what our inside is telling us, we went. So this is an opportunity to go ahead and really learn how to sit with that and to begin to discern between what is everybody else saying and what is my internal self saying. Usually our gut instincts are right on. And that's what we usually find out when we decided to not listen to our gut. So with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set an intention for this uh, meditation uh, to have gratitude. Gratitude for something that I personally am very grateful for is that one that I uh, did get to continue to work throughout this, so I didn't really have to worry too much about my income. So that personally for me was, you know, I know there are people who have had to worry about that. Um, and another thing for me is that I have gotten to work from home more, which I have been able to enjoy my home, which is something I do very much. And when I've been working, I have not been home outside of the home, not been home very much. So this has really been an opportunity for that and to not have to, it feels less like I'm on the run, 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 run. So, and that's something that has helped me feel very much more settled. And I think that's something that, um, you know, when we can get to the place where we can really um, appreciate getting off the rat race, then out of the rat race that we, benefit from that so much more. So that's something that I'm grateful for. And therefore, um, you know, I would suggest that you and encourage you to think about what are some things that you are grateful for through this? Maybe what are some things that you have learned, some golden nuggets that you are taking away from this social distancing experience that we are having? So let's go ahead and get comfortable in your seat and just make sure that you're comfortable in a place where you can sit for the next maybe 15 minutes and start to take some nice long slow deep breaths in through your nose and exhale through your mouth take another deep breath in through your nose Fill up your lungs and your belly and slowly exhale. Excellent. Good. And as you're breathing, just notice how your muscles are starting to relax. Maybe it feels as though they're melting into place. Maybe you're noticing your shoulders kind of falling a little lower. Um, your back and notice your arms getting a little heavier and just start to feel as though uh, anything that uh, happened today uh, is just not here you just left that outside this room and anything that happened Especially anything that was stressful that 
maybe it was not what you would have liked to have experienced in your day and anything that you're grateful for today go ahead and bring that up really clear in your mind maybe you had a nice interaction with somebody a good conversation maybe you managed to connect with somebody or maybe you managed to disconnect from somebody or the world and really enjoyed that Whatever it is that you did that you got to enjoy, go ahead and really bring that up and notice those feelings of gratitude. And where in your body are you feeling that gratitude? And breathe into that area of your body where you're feeling the gratitude. Give that space some oxygen. So that it can grow. And notice if it feels like a warm sensation, or maybe it's a fuzzy sensation, or maybe it's tingly. Maybe it feels light. A light weight. However it feels, just notice that and enjoy it. And as you're sending oxygen specifically to those areas where you're feeling the gratitude physically, notice how the oxygen is helping that physical sensation of gratitude grow. Just let that physical sensation of gratitude grow more and more until it takes up all of the space in your body. And now it's taken up so much space in your body that it's bursting through your skin creating this beautiful aura around you. Notice how maybe it's pulsating with the beautiful energy of gratitude, pulsating the sense of gratitude and energy of gratitude out into the rest of the world. Like you're a star in the world, shooting out beautiful energy of gratitude so the rest of the world can feel it. They don't just notice it, they feel it, they sense it, they soak it up. And probably they're feeling the same way that you are. Feeling that nice, tingly, warm, fuzzy, light, physical sensation. And now that you've shown your beautiful light of gratitude into the rest of the world, Start to set foot into the world. This new world that you created, that has been created from your gratitude. And feel how the energy feels in the world now that it's filled with not just your sense of gratitude, but everyone else who's here doing this meditation with us, all of their gratitude. And all of these energies are mixing in and mingling together, raising the energy levels 
in the world. Notice how it feels to walk around in a world that's so full of the energy of gratitude from so many people all around the world because we're all sending out our beautiful energy of gratitude out into the world. Notice the beautiful landscape that you're in and surrounded by. Notice the sounds that you're hearing, the birds singing their songs, the breeze rustling through the leaves on the trees. Feel how refreshing it feels to be in this space with a nice breeze swirling all this beautiful energy of gratitude around, helping to mix it up some more, make it stronger, more powerful. So the energy vibrations are rising even higher and higher. You can feel it in your body and that you are feeling lighter and lighter as the energy vibrations rise. Notice what you're seeing in the landscape. Maybe you see mountains, maybe you're by the water. Maybe you're seeing some beautiful natural flowers, bright colors, exposing their beauty. It's so simple and so complex all at the same time. And it just is. And for that, we are so grateful that it shares its beauty with us. And hearing the birds sing their beautiful song, having their conversations with each other in such a beautiful manner. Makes, puts a smile on your face. As you think of the beautiful birds with all their different vibrant colors and their magical ability to fly through the air And notice how the gratitude that we have for these beautiful birds, the beauty of the birds and their song, and how that rises the energy even more so. Notice the energy from the environment that you're in. What does it feel like where you are? Are you by the mountains? If so, what does that energy from the mountains feel like? Are you by the water, the beach, or a lake, or a river? If so, what does that energy feel like? Notice how 
your energy is rising and you're feeling lighter with all this gratitude, both coming from you and from everyone else in the world. How it physically makes your body feel stronger, more capable of doing what it needs to do to keep you healthy and safe. able to do whatever it is that you're here to do, whatever it is that your purpose for being here is. And think for a moment, what for you, what it, for you is your purpose for being here? And it can be anything, anything in the world. Maybe your purpose is to be the best mom or dad that you could possibly be. Maybe you're here to be the best baker there is and provide people with the joy of eating your delicious baked goods. Put a smile on their face, feed cravings. Maybe you're here to inspire other people to do more and be more. Whatever your purpose is, it doesn't really matter to other people, what other people think that your purpose should, might should be. The only thing that matters is but it's one that lights you up. When you think about your days, your life, what you do, what you have planned in the future, what lights you up? When you think about it, your eyes get a little bigger, you sit up a little straighter in your seat, you want to talk more about it. That is a clear indication that that has something to do with your purpose. So just sit with that for a moment. In whatever environment you're in, whether it's the mountains or the beach or wherever you are, and soak up the energy from that specific place as you think about your purpose. As you're sitting here being lifted also by this beautiful energy of gratitude that is spread all around the world from everyone who's participating in this meditation. And whether you already know what your purpose is or you maybe started to get an inkling of it or if you didn't have it, this is not, all you need to do is to be grateful for if you have it, if you're on your path, if you don't know what it is and you're still in your search, just be grateful for this moment. And paying attention. It's okay if you don't have it now. 
You are on your path. We are all on a path. And we all have our own pace. And whatever our pace is, it's okay. Many times when we attempt to rush, the timing just isn't right. So this is again where taking time to slow down a little bit, take some time to have quality time with you, you yourself, and if it's not something you enjoy, then what is keeping you from enjoying that time? Those could be some specific clues as well. Good. So let's start to step out of this scenario of where you are you can keep whatever it was that you found in this space whether it was a particular thought a particular inspiration whether it was just quiet time even if that quiet time maybe it wasn't the feeling that you wanted still looks Acknowledge it, accept it, and let that be. Because somehow, some for some reason, that is there to tell you something as well. Maybe there's something that isn't going the way uh, how that in a way that feels good to you. Maybe there's a relationship that doesn't feel like it's respectful. Maybe you're worried about a work situation. Maybe it's a family situation. It could be a lot of different things. Maybe there's some things you're upset about yourself for. Whatever it is that's bringing up, it's there for a reason. And when you take the time to quiet things down and take a look at it and examine it, you will often find out what that came from. And from there, you can begin to find a plan to solve it. Maybe it requires finding another job. Maybe it requires having some conversations and setting some boundaries. A lot of things can be changed by taking some time to find out what is going on for you so that you can begin to implement changes. But that only happens when you take some time to be quiet and go within. So, whatever all the nuggets of ways that you took from this space, go ahead and wrap them up like you have a beautiful gift box. Put your gold nuggets in there, this beautiful gift box, because whatever they were, they are gifts. And go ahead and Put the lid on that beautiful gift box and tie a bow around it. And then tuck that box into your pocket if it's possible or hold it in your hand 
if it's big. And start to step back into the room that you're sitting in. Take a couple of long, slow, deep breaths to seal in this experience that you had. And another deep breath. Go ahead and wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, roll your shoulders, give yourself a little twist. Twists are wonderful ways of massaging your internal organs, something that they do in yoga a lot. And it's always a good thing to keep everything well massaged. So come on all the way back into this room. And um, again, I would always love to hear what your experiences were like during this meditation. I always find that I get more out of the meditation when I can discuss with somebody, what was it that I felt? What, what were some things that came up for me? Um, sometimes I have interesting things that come up and sometimes it's physical sensations, sometimes it's thoughts, sometimes it's um, inspiration. It can be all different kinds of things. Um, and sometimes just nothing. It all depends. Some days your meditation may be stronger and deeper and other days you might not be completely all there and that's okay. I mean, it's just another day and another meditation. And the point is that when you continue to uh, apply the practice, then uh, you will be able to get better quality meditation every time that you do it. So I want to go ahead and wish you all a wonderful rest of your Sunday evening. And I want to thank you all for joining in this meditation where we set the intention of gratitude and um, I hope that you feel better after this meditation and then I will see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. for day 23 of our 30-day meditation challenge. So have a great evening, everyone. Take care.